first I'll show you how to access your parent account. So you're going to go to log in and then click parent. Then enter in your email associated with the account and your password. Once you're logged on, it will take you to the home page, which is the class story. But you also have the option of going to the top where it says messages and you can contact any teacher that your child has. If you go to your classroom teacher, you'll be able to see all the important announcements that that teacher sends out to the whole class. So this is our class story where important things are posted from the teacher. Um, you will see that lots of them include hyperlinks that you should just be able to click and it'll take you directly to the link that the teacher is intending you to go to. These are our daily agendas, so I'll always have a link for the morning message for your child and you to watch first thing in the morning. Um, so those links are provided there as well. You should just be able to click them and you'll be taken to the correct morning message. Along with that is our daily agenda PDF. So when you click that little image, it will take you to the daily agenda. Hyperlinks are utilized in the daily agendas as well. So you should just be able to click those links and get to the correct video. But there are times when that isn't necessarily true and for some reason the video is not popping up. So if that happens, you have a couple options. You can either copy that whole URL and paste it into your web browser. If that still doesn't work, then I know that this will be on YouTube, so I can go to youtube.com, and the title is Bucket Filling from A to Z Read Aloud. So if you go to YouTube and in the search bar at the top, type in that title, Bucket Filling from A to Z Read Aloud, then you'll be able to find the video. Just go ahead and click one of the read alouds, and it's the same thing. So sometimes the hyperlinks don't work, but there are ways to still reach that video. Your child will just go through the agenda and complete every activity. You will notice that sometimes it references a CMS packet. That is if you picked up a hard copy of the lessons, you will be able to follow along in your packet. If you didn't, you can scroll all the way down to the end of the agenda and right here I will have a PDF version of the same exact page. So you can either print that off or you can just look off of there and complete the activity on a separate sheet of paper. Now that we're pretty familiar with the agenda, I'm going to show you how to access a student account on Dojo so that they can upload their work each day. A student account is different than a parent account, so you will need to log out of your parent account and go back to the Class Dojo homepage. This time, log in as a student. If you have not signed your student up before, it'll take you to this page. Go ahead and click the class text code and just ask your teacher for the code for the, her specific class. Then it will bring you to a list of all the kids' names in the class, which I have blocked out due to privacy, but you'll then just go ahead and click your child's name and you'll be taken to their student portfolio. The student portfolio is where you'll go each day to submit your assignments. Usually these are pen and paper assignments, so you'll have to take a photo of your child's work with your phone or a webcam, and then you'll have to upload the photo onto the student portfolio. So there are options like photo, video, draw, file, and journal. When you are uploading their work, you actually don't click on photo because that's using the webcam, um, but you click on file. Then select image and you can upload the child's work. So here I have an example of one of the student response sheets that was done using a book from Raz Kids. Um, they took a photo of their work, then they can just add it on into the portfolio by doing a file attachment. Once it's done uploading, it'll take you to this screen where you have the option to add 
a caption to that photo. You do not need to, but you can if you would like. So I wrote, here is my activity, literacy activity one. And then when you are ready sub to submit, you just click hand in. And then that will get sent to me on my teacher account. And your child will just keep on going down the agenda and complete the next activity. To keep track of what's been handed in, you can click portfolio at the top and you'll be able to see everything that you have submitted down there where it says my portfolio. You can also play around with these different features like submitting a video of you doing a challenge or drawing a picture for your teacher. Um, this is your student's portfolio, so they can do whatever they would like to do with it. Just make sure that they are uploading pictures of your work, of their work. That is the most important part, but if they want to do drawings and pictures and videos, more power to them. So again, this is where you'll see everything that you have submitted. The to-do list is where you'll go when your child has finished all of their work for the day. So you'll click on the correct date and click start. And then just have your child or you type a little message letting me know that they have completed all of the activities, all of the subjects for the entire daily agenda, and they have been submitted into their portfolio. Then you'll click hand in, and I'll know that they're done for the day. One thing I do want to mention is that the class story on the student account looks the exact same as the class story on the parent account. You can still click all of the hyperlinks and access all of the daily agendas. You cannot, however, comment on anything on the story or message, instant message the teachers. So please be sure that you are checking your parent account at least one time a day so that you are staying up to date with the messages that I send out to the parents, but know that you can access the daily agendas through the student account as well as the parent account. And that's it. I hope this tutorial helped navigate Dojo a little bit easier.